Kourtney Kardashian is the eldest of the Kardashian-Jenner siblings and she's 40 at the time of this video. Some may say that she's one of the more drama-free of the bunch, while others may say she's the most argumentative of the sisters. Either way, I've always kind of liked Courtney. Courtney has a handful of titles, including reality TV star, influencer, model, author, businesswoman, and mother of three. She clearly does it all. At the moment, she has 81.6 million followers on Instagram. But at the same time, it's clear that Courtney is the least comfortable with fame in the family. She's talked about moving away to a farm before and just claims that she sometimes can't handle fakeness. Is there anything I can do to be a better mommy to you? Be a little bit less strict. Less strict? Yeah. Okay, what else? Maybe tighten up the curse words. Yes, okay. And maybe stop, like, looking at stuff on Instagram. Wow. Courtney has been talked about recently after an interview on The Real because she suggested she might even be done with keeping up with the Kardashians. But I don't think that'll be happening yet a rumor that you might be leaving the Kardashian show? So, I mean, <laughs> every day is different. Oh, <laughs> so you actually considered it? Yeah, but I, at the current moment, I'm happy and, okay. and very into my blessings okay. and feeling really good. But um, I definitely, you know, have my moments okay. where... In the same interview, she opened up when she was asked if it's intimidating that their youngest sister, Kylie, is the wealthiest. Courtney answered, Probably subconsciously it makes us feel like, when's it enough? Not to worry though, Courtney still has an empire of her own and her net worth is at an estimated 35 million. Speaking of Courtney's money, it also bought her a beautiful mansion in Calabasas. If you've watched any of the other Kardashian Jenner clan house tours, you'd know most of the women in the fam live beside each other, aside from Kendall. We've got Chris, Kim, and Kylie in the Hidden Hills neighborhood, and Chloe and Courtney next door in the community called The Oaks. Hey guys, it's Kara, and we've been trying something a little different here on this channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Courtney Kardashian's mansion in Calabasas, where she's next door neighbors with her sister Chloe. We'll see what her place is like, how much it cost her, and we'll even look at the home she lived in before. If you like this idea, I'll keep doing house tour vids. We also did one on Chloe's mansion, which I loved, Kim and Kanye's $22 million palace, as well as Kylie and Kendall's homes, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end of this video. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. I've seen some comments for Rihanna's and Katy Perry's, so I'll definitely do those soon. So before we look at Courtney's current home, we'll look at the house she was living in prior to this since it was pretty interesting. Her and her ex-man Scott Disick lived in Calabasas before as well, but this home was a bit smaller. It was purchased back in 2010 for 1.7 million, which seems like a small price to pay for the size and location. Although the home was 5,400 square feet, Courtney said her and her family needed more space at the time. Courtney had hired interior designer Jeff Andrews to completely redesign the four bed and 4.5 bath home, which made unique to say the least. Back then, Scott actually described this home as Alice in Wonderland meets Beetlejuice. Sounds right up my alley. The new design was a lot of bright colored furniture and statement pieces inside black and white rooms. There was a piano room which Courtney said, This was the dining room when we moved in and it evolved into a whatever room. The piano was in my parents' house since I was born and my mom gave it to me. The black and white chairs were also in my house as a child and I had them redone. The hot pink chaise was Chloe's she didn't want it. I said to her, I'm gonna redo this and you're gonna regret it, and she does. Courtney's favorite room in this house was her daughter Penelope's, which at the time was a cute pink nursery. And her second favorite room was the family room where they all hung out and watched movies. We've also seen the dining room, master bedroom, the kids' playroom, and a colorful office, which was basically Scott's territory. On early seasons of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, you could see that Courtney's living spaces were much smaller than they are these days, so it makes sense that along with having more kids, she'd want to upgrade. Sources also said that a lot of what they showed on the reality show, such as the exterior of the houses, was not actually where the family members lived. This was done for security reasons, but the interior shots were in their real homes. Courtney and Scott listed this home for about 3.5 million, but it ended up selling for just under three. They upgraded to a home in the Oaks community in Calabasas, a house that previously belonged to retired NFL star Keyshawn Johnson. Let's move on to the place Courtney calls home these days. It's the same house she and Scott purchased a few years back, but it's all hers now. 
This house was the one they upgraded to in the Oaks, which is beside Hidden Hills, where most of the Kardashian Jenners live, like I said. These communities are both in Calabasas. Courtney made a good choice with this place because she's still next door with her best friend and sister Chloe. <laughs> but the sign, the sign. What are you talking about, Courtney? The sign said more lives. <laughs> okay. Wow. Malika, help us. Chloe actually got her house after Courtney, which used to be Justin Bieber's. Clearly, it all worked out. Houses in this area are obviously high in price. Any of these celebrity mansions cost well in the multi million dollar range. Although Courtney's place isn't worth as much as Kim's $22 million palace, it certainly wasn't cheap. Courtney and Scott got this place back in 2014 for $8.5 million. The mansion spans 12,000 square feet with six beds and nine bathrooms, so you could say it's slightly bigger than the last place. With just Courtney and her three kids living there now, it definitely gives them plenty of room. Of course, this home came with a bunch of necessary privacy for Courtney, thanks to not only a gated courtyard, but also to the green landscape that spans across her property's 1.86 acres. Some features in this home when she purchased it included a games room, movie theater, gym, pool, and a spa and massage room. Not to mention an elevator considering the place is so big. Courtney did get her fair share of renovations done though to make this mansion feel like home. She hired Martin Lawrence Bullard, who seems to work on all the family's interior design jobs to help her with her vision. Courtney has also said that she would have loved to be an interior designer and always had a passion for it, so she put a lot of thought into her place too. Courtney wanted to make her home perfect for her three kids as well, which meant a sophisticated but family-friendly design, and of course, super cool rooms personalized for each of them. When you first walk into Courtney's house, the entry is full of light. There's a ton of windows and views straight to the yard. The living room has similar vibes to her old place with the black and white color scheme. Courtney's kitchen looks pretty normal with lots of neutral colors and space for the family to hang out and cook. Just like her sister Chloe, Courtney likes to keep a really organized pantry as well. Courtney says her dining room is one of her favorites in this house. I never really hear people say that their dining rooms are their fave room, but I guess in Courtney's case it makes sense. She says, I use this space to entertain. It's perfect for when I have the whole family over. So when Courtney hosts holiday parties with her sisters, you can bet this is the room. It was designed to be both modern and comfortable. When you see Courtney's master bedroom and master bath, they look a lot less girly than some of her sisters. Courtney's taste seems a bit more mature and classic. I think the spaces are really nice, but they don't have as much personality as some of the other rooms in the home. I'm sure Courtney's bathroom is where she spends a lot of her time doing her self care and skin and beauty routines, though. And feels a little weird, but it's all for a good cause. I try to use clean beauty products as much as possible. The beauty reform laws have not been changed in 80 years and it is sadly up to us as consumers to try and figure out what is safe and not safe, which is why I love EWG's app called Skin Deep where you can tell what is safe and not safe. I started becoming obsessed with the products that I put on my kids' skin first, and then I started thinking about my own. The mask actually feels nice. You know how some masks really tight? Courtney's closet might not be the biggest, and she doesn't have two like Chloe does, but it's still huge. She's shown it off in the past while doing closet cleanouts. I think we're over these. I had a clothing line in high yes, in college after college, and this was one of our pieces. So it's just the yeah, reason it's, it's I have to keep it. To it's this. like a mermaid. Okay, I did wear this, and it was sheer, and my whole ass was showing. Love. The guest room in Courtney's place is somewhere she wanted people to feel comfortable. Apparently, Courtney always puts out fresh robes, towels, extra blankets, and bottled water for her visitors here, so that it has a hotel vibe. I wouldn't mind being a guest there, that's for sure. Courtney's office is more fit for her this time than the last one, since Scott took that one over. High ceilings make this room look really big and open. Her designer also said that there's a chair in here that once belonged to a former French president. The kids' rooms each have their own special design. Her daughter has an all pink theme where she can show off all her dolls. And her son Mason likes Star Wars, so Courtney made it full of stars and glow-in-the-dark accents. Her youngest son has his own space too. 
Outside might just be my fave part of Courtney's house. There's a huge pool and a perfectly green lawn surrounding it. The views here are amazing and you can see all of the hills in the background. It looks like paradise. If I was Courtney, I'd want to lounge back there every day. So now that we've seen most of Courtney's house, I think you can tell just how big and spacious it is. At 12,000 square feet, I could only imagine. Compared to Courtney's and Scott's previous LA home, the design of this one is a little less out there. Courtney's taste seems more mature these days, but I kind of like the colorful and unique designs in the old place too. Courtney's house is beautiful, but the interior shows that her style is definitely different from her sister's. I think that I can tell from her house that she's the eldest one, but it's totally not a bad thing. Even though her place is pretty classic, Courtney made sure that her kids' rooms were really creative and fun when she designed all this. My favorite part of Courtney's house has got to be the pool and yard. The view, the lawn, and the pool combined all look so peaceful and fancy. Definitely something out of a dream. I think that Courtney and the family designer did a great job in personalizing this home for her tastes. She's made the perfect mansion to raise her family, not to mention she gets to live next door to Chloe and beside her other family members too. I'd love to know what you guys think about Courtney's house in the comments. Okay guys, as usual, I'm gonna be reading out some of your comments from past videos. On our Kylie Jenner house tour video, Luana Davis said, Oh my god, this design would be great for a 12 year old. Not a full grown businesswoman and billionaire. She will tire of this crap before she turns 25. LOL, but I'm happy for her and glad she gets to live the life. I can totally agree with that. I guess Kylie's lucky that she's a billionaire though so she can change it whenever she does get sick of it. Pam Williamson commented on our Kim K house tour and said, All that money and no creativity, no personality, no nothing. Waste of space. I also think that it's super weird how Kim's mansion has next to nothing in it. It seriously looks so empty. And on our Chloe K house tour video, It's MB Squad said that, This video called me poor a bunch of times. Love your videos though. Like I said, seeing her house made me feel poor too, so don't worry. I'm glad you're loving all the videos. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Courtney's Home in the Oaks. I look forward to reading what you guys think about her spot or if there's anything I might have missed. I think that Courtney's mansion is beautiful and spacious with a property anyone would be jealous of, but her sister Chloe's house is still my favorite. What was your favorite part of Courtney's house? And out of her and her sister's homes, which one did you like best so far? Let me know in the comments and let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more. I'll see you next week with some new videos. Bye!